Hello and welcome to this video feature entitled Treasury of Trinbago History. This is a production of the Educational Library Services Division of the National Library and Information System Authority, NALIS. This video and its content was created by the library staff at Tableland Secondary School. The feature or treasure of Trinbago's history highlighted in this presentation is none other than the very popular Femme du Chalet or as we all know it, the original breakfast shed. The original breakfast shed is a cultural and culinary landmark in the capital city of Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. Now let's take a closer look at the history of this establishment. Femme du Chalet, the original breakfast shed, was founded by philanthropist Audrey Lane Jeffers in 1928. Back then, it was known as the Working Men's Dining Shed, located on Ryson Road. As its name implies, it was a place where the working class men on the port could purchase affordable and freshly prepared meals daily that would sustain them for their vigorous work. In 1953, the Working Men's Dining Shed was renamed the Original Breakfast Shed, and in 1998, the Femme du Chalet Cooperative was formed, after which the Port of Spain Corporation relinquished the management of the establishment. The Femme du Chalet Cooperative, the original breakfast shed, was relocated in 2006 to the waterfront, which is part of the waterfront project that is managed by Nibdeco. Now let's take a closer look at the honorary Miss Audrey Lane Jeffers. In examining the historical foundation of the original breakfast shed, it would be remiss not to mention the contribution of Miss Audrey Lane Jeffers. She was an innovative individual who saw the need for an affordable, healthy food establishment which offered home-cooked meals and provided a comfortable place for workers at the seaport in Port of Spain. Her plight to help the less fortunate was among her many initiatives. Mrs. Jeffers shaped the foundation of community care through the quarry of social workers where communities were influenced to play an active role in lifting those most in need. Mrs. Jeffers was a passionate social worker and was awarded the Shaconia Gold Medal for her contribution to social service. She was instrumental in the establishment of the very first breakfast shed in Port of Spain that provided needy school children with free daily meals which was expanded to many other communities. Moving away from the history, let's now have a look at the original breakfast shed from a socio-cultural perspective. By now, you must have heard me mention that the original breakfast shed is located at Ryson Road in Port of Spain. This iconic place is positioned between the busy streets of the town and a scenic waterfront view of the coastline where commuters from the water taxis can be seen passing by. The enticing aroma of tasty food can be smelt coming from the 12 open kitchens. An inviting open area 
with picnic style tables and chairs awaits persons having breakfast or lunch in the cool seaside breeze. The free Wi-Fi service available to customers is an additional perk of dining at the original breakfast shed. Now let's have a look at the present day experience at the original breakfast shed. The original breakfast shed is open seven days a week and serves an assortment of dishes for breakfast and lunch each day. In the early hours of the morning, vendors can be seen preparing local and fresh food for the busy day as commuters of the water taxi, passers-by and tourists would arrive to purchase their meals. What makes this operation significantly unique is that every kitchen serves almost the exact food and the chefs work cooperatively to ensure that each kitchen produces high quality meals of the same standard. Unlike other cooking arenas, the staff at the original breakfast shed complements each other by their exchange of culinary skills and there is a comforting sense of camaraderie between them. There's a wide variety of affordable meals available daily from 4 a.m. to 3 p.m. even on public holidays. Some of the popular local dishes available at the breakfast shed are roast bake to go with buljol or smoked herring, fish broth, ground provision, to be paired with stewed oxtail, chicken, fish, beef, or pork. Mouth-watering specials are also available over the weekend. These include curry queue, oxtail and cow heel soups, pelau, kuku, kalalu, oil dung, and of course, curried crabs and dumplings. They also cater and host events such as weddings and christenings, in addition to birthdays. The original breakfast shed still serves as a meeting place for local people and many tourists that visit to taste Creole cuisine. The genuine warmth and affability displayed by the staff at the original breakfast shed is almost contagious as customers too become entangled in the caring cordiality expressed. Although the structure of the original breakfast shed is nothing like the typical restaurant, the pleasantness displayed is culturally transformative and ambient. The original breakfast shed remains a positive place that encourages community fellowship. The Femme du Chalet Cooperative, the original breakfast shed, is the epitome of Mrs. Jeffers' vision, her spirit and love for the people of our country. It has always been a rich part of our cultural and historical tapestry and is well deserving of a place in the historical treasure chest of Trinidad and Tobago. Special thanks to Ms. Ayana Hunt of the Port of Spain City Corporation, one of our interviewees for this project. Heartfelt thanks also goes out to Ms. Bernadette Smith, past president and present treasurer of the Femme du Chalet Cooperative, the original breakfast shed, for her informative insight into the history and daily running of the breakfast shed.